Ladies and gentlemen, on the scene everything, right? Yeah. Miss Sophia. Hi, Miss Sophia. how are you? We always do lion paw. Yes. That's what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Lady, <sighs> look at this. Spotlight. Yes. They are but hold on, we're not talking about this yet. Okay. <laughs> how are you enjoying your stay here in the, in the States? Oh, oh, I'm guessing some rest. Well needed rest. Well needed that rest. I, that that needed I've been rest. short of for over the years since the album has dropped. And, oh. um, Yesterday was the one year since the Spotlight album dropped, so I'm kind of getting some rest and also doing some promo. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. give them your website. Let me go right here and take something off so that they can go and look at you right now. Okay. My, my MySpace is Sophie, Sophie Brown, S-O-P-H-I-I -I Brown, at MySpace.com, um, um, at MySpace.com. And, of course, you can go on my Facebook, my fan page. And also my YouTube um, video link. Although you can find me anywhere you want on the internet, because I'm all over there. Yeah, you missed a lady go global. Yes. She's all over. You just type in Sophia yes. Brom and yes. it like. Yes. Come. Yes. Now, Miss Sophia, I've been looking on your YouTube, your your videos, the interviews them that you've done, especially yes. the one on um, 87. 87 something. Uh, oh, yeah, 876 radio. Yeah, yeah, right. I love that one. Now that was pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. That was good. And uh, the videos. Listen to me, guys. When you go and see her videos, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's go be off the hook. Yes. You guys will definitely love it. Now, tell, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, Sophia Brown was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Um, I went to live in St. Elizabeth, where I grew up with my grandmother, attend St. Elizabeth Technical. Later on, Jamaica School of Business, and of course, um, enter into the business of recording in 1993. When a very good friend of mine, Mr. Stephen Stanley, who makes most of my songs on my album, um, introduced me to the business. There were some folks uh, in Jamaica from uh, California. They were, they were from Alternational Records, and they were there to record Gregory Isaacs. Um, Anthony Red Rose, Michael Rose, and Leroy Sibley. I was there in the studio with my friend Stephen Stanley, and of course, um, Stephen Stanley said, Well, the Wonder Girl, yeah, man, put her on the track. Them time there, you know, you see how I'm tiny. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> Stephen Stanley said, See Wonder Girl, yeah, man, put her on the track. And of course, um, they asked me if I have any song that was ready that could go on the track, which I was a bit shy, and then they sent me in the voicing room, and I came. It's understandable. <laughs> you know, it was my first recording and everything like that. So um, I went in the recording room, jig and me. I came up with a song and called... Pull me. Jig and I'll pull me. Jig and I'll pull you, jig and i pull me now. Oh, boy, pull me now. You say you're full of perfection. Now is the time to show me your motion. Love to feel when you touch up me belly. Little boy, I want you to touch up part part to me. Hold on, and my boyfriend tell him that I'm chilly. You know? Brap, <laughs> brap, brap, brap. You know? Listen, me, I don't hear that anywhere else, you know? <laughs> right. You, you know? see, it's straight up. So <laughs> right. I, you know, and they did like the song. And, okay. of course, that was my first recording. That was in 1993. Mm -hmm. And from there on, I went on to work with Black Scorpio. Those days, Black okay. Scorpio was the big thing in Jamaica. Yep. Um, he came out with the Big Bad Rhythm Strive, which I was on, you know, along with um, Shinehead, Chevelle Franklin, Glenn Ricks, who was some major superstar, okay. in, 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 you know, in, in that um, decade of the music. And, and from there on, I, I, in 1998, I formed my own recording company. Beautiful. <laughs> now, how would you best describe your music? Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> Sophia Brown don't sing no one kind of music. I can do dancehall. I can do R&B. I can do hip-hop and R&B. I can do reggae. I can sing for the fellas. I can sing for the ladies, you know, because the ladies can relate to what I'm saying and everything like that. So... I wouldn't categorize myself in any one genre of music. I can sing anything you throw at me as long as the track is there and I can write to it. There I can sing anything to a, to a rhythm track. Okay. What image do you think your music convey? Well, um, um, the, the image of the music or myself? Of the, mu B the music, yeah. Well, um, I came with a, with a very clean, um, clean kind of music that uh, I would like children to relate to whatever I'm singing because... As a mother, I have two children, so most definitely I would like um, children to, to can relate to what's, what I'm what's saying. What's the age? Uh, 
yeah, it's a boy and a girl. It's a boy and a girl. It's a boy and a girl. A couple. Yes, so there, right. you know. And um, of course, um, um, I always go home and, and ask my children what they think about a song before I put it out because. Of course, if they pass it, then I know other kids, other people's children can relate to it. Of course, sometimes I go like a risque, I must say, because sometimes, especially on the track, on the track, Jerome, I really went a little risque. But my son loved that track. I don't know why. So <laughs> I keep it on the album. You know, but um, anyone can relate to my music. I can sing roots rock reggae, you know, for, the, for all those people who is deep into roots music. I can sing, sing lovers rock for all the people who are deep into you know the love thing, and of you course see. I can. And of course I can sing um, dancehall. Okay. Dancehall, I can do anything. No, no. It's, it's since you started out in the nineties, uh, what past accomplishment, you know, gave you inspiration and satisfaction? Well, you know, when I started out in the nineties, it was very rough. You know, because those days the female wasn't as prevalent as they are now. But in, in the year 2000, when I came to America, I was invited by someone called Mr. Herman Hudson there in uh, Richmond, Virginia. He, in, he um, invited me to perform in a very humongous, humongous stage, I must say, with Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, Little Kim wow. uh, at, at the time. And I thought performing in front of um, 75,000 people in a big festival over there in North Fork, Virginia was a huge accomplishment for, you, for me. Of course. Yes, then um, that was the year 2000. And then 2008, when I come with my very big single that called Love You Pure, which is also on the album The Spotlight, right. when I was nominated for Best New Female Artist of the Year in Jamaica. You hear that? That was, <laughs> that was another huge accomplishment for me. And of course, you know, traveling to, to, to Dubai, Israel, and all these places and performing the music of, of the performing the genre of reggae is really a big com accomplishment for me at, in any, anyway, you know, just to be a, um, a, an ambassador for Jamaica. So that is one of That's a very good. huge, you know, accomplishment for me any, any, any day. Right. Who, who, is your in, who influences you, especially in the music business? Well, there are many people who influence me. I'm a very big fan of, of um, Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, Marcy Griffith, Tanya Stevens, um, Itana, and of course, mm -hmm. um, Shireen Anderson, who's a very good friend of mine as well. You know, these people influence me. I love Patti LaBelle. I love Aretha Franklin. Of course, Jimi Hendrix, you know, is one of my all-time favorite as well. So these yes, are people, rock and Mar right there. you know, and Marvin Gaye. These are people who influence me a lot. So I tend to write soul music sometimes because of these people. What type of special environment you, you, you like to work in? You know, some people left to, you know, you go up in the environment, you know, you know, what I type like you to, like to work I like, in? I like to, to, to record in a very quiet environment because, um, in Jamaica, you know, sometimes the studios are so crowded, so mo you pick and choose where to go and work, so you ca it can be quiet. Because sometimes you go in the studio to do a particular song, and when you get there, a different vibe hole, you, you don't really want, you know, too much people to have their say and say, you know, but the, of course there are people there that you would like to have an input, and then you will ask them right. questions and stuff like that. So I really like to work in a very in subtle case. environment, you know, so that my brain can be clear and free to do whatever I'm doing. There you go. Um, where do you see yourself right now within, you know, five to ten years? Well, consider the fact that I um, I'm now, I, I just got a distribution deal with uh, Universal Records through Involve Records. Wow. <laughs> you know, you um, see? <laughs> you know, I'm looking. Uh, they'll be dropping the Good Love single soon, um, okay. Universal. And, of course, um, I, I personally see myself winning a Grammy in the next year or two. Keep because doing what you're doing. Keep <laughs> doing what you're doing. <laughs> because they, we're, we're currently working on the, the, the next album. You know, um, mm -hmm. it's untitled at the moment, so we're currently working on it. So basically, um, in the next year or two, I'm looking forward to be nominated for a Grammy. I think that would be a very good accomplishment uh, musically. Okay, good. Now, what about um, your friends, your associates? Okay. <laughs> What type, you know, what type yes. of friends do Sophia, Sophia Brown has? You know, my, friend, my friends are mainly male. And one of the main reasons for that is because um, most of my male friends, they really inspire me and cheer me on to do good things. And that's why most of my friends are, are male, especially in the music business. Of course, I have a few good friends in the music business, like, like I say, um, Sherry Anderson, 
Itana is okay.